You know, as broadcasters here at Sportsnet, we're not encouraged to cheer for teams, but we can still cheer very much for people, specifically those that don't back down from a challenge or from a fight. And that's why now we're cheering very much for Steve Lutzik. Here's Christine Simpson. Well, Jeff, Steve Ludzik has been a battler his entire career. Now, as the former NHLer is facing stage four liver disease, he's in the fight of his life. We caught up with him at Toronto General Hospital, where he was meeting with his doctors, hoping for some good news, and as always, keeping a positive outlook on life. He is a, a, an absolute warrior. I mean, he's, he's by far the strongest man I know. And he just had got back from Toronto and they, they, they took his liver out. He goes, I'm dying. Do you ever, though, sit and go, like, why me? Why do I get Yeah, I all say, why this? not me? I say, why not me? Here's Lutzig, scores! He wants it, cracks it in the short side. I have a funny story once we were playing in Chicago. <laughs> And Steve was doing what Steve does best. Uh, good player, good anticipator, good offensively, and can antagonize like nobody else. And he was going after Wayne. And Wayne came in between periods and said to me, uh, will you tell your goddamn buddy loves it to get away from me, this and that? I said, no, you're gonna fight this one on your own. Wayne, kind of after the game, uh, was still a little perturbed at me for not sticking up with him and being with my buddy Lutz, but uh, after a couple of beers at the bar, he kind of warmed up to me. He said, you know what? I respect that Ludzik. Steve Ludzik's hockey career almost ended when he was 16 years old because of Crohn's disease. When he was 39, Ludzik was then diagnosed with Parkinson's. He began working in television and didn't reveal it publicly for 12 years. The thing that got me was um, a writer uh, for the star wrote, I love Bloodsy on TV, but it seems like he's been drinking. And he, he slurs his words as the show goes on, which wasn't true. It was part of Parkinson's. When you get really, really tired, you, you, you lisp and slur some words. One morning I said, you know what, man, I, got, I could help a lot of people. A lot of people, if I came out and said I got Parkinson's. So my next thing was I came out, said I had Parkinson's, and then I went, what can I do for the people? You've given back so much. I mean, the, the Steve Ludzik Foundation, tell me why you started it and what the role was. Well, we have a um, facility at the Hotel Du Shaver, and, and what it, it's free for anybody in the Niagara region. We bring in people with Parkinson's and teach them how to live, how to live in society, how to exercise. Exercise is so important. People don't understand that. The rest is to rot, and Parkinson's is the key to that. If you stop moving, you stop doing your exercises, you're in trouble. It is a one-of-a-kind multidisciplinary clinic, and each individual person is treated on their specific needs. Our goal at the foundation at the Parkinson's Clinic is to help people live well with Parkinson's today. After years of helping others, the 58-year-old Ludzik is now in need of help. In addition to everything else he's had to cope with, Ludzik has been dealing with liver disease for nearly 30 years. How are you feeling? Uh, some days real good and other days, real tired. I've been fighting this disease since I was playing in Chicago with the Blackhawks. Tell us what it actually is. It's the is. scarring of the, the, the ducts that go in your liver. Like people read and they say, up here, I'm in stage four of cirrhosis. And they assume, well, he's a big drinker. It had nothing to do with it. It was uh, the, the ducts that go into your liver. Instead of being like that, they're scarred inside. And I started showing signs of that uh, from the age of 23, when I played for the Blackhawks, my blood work showed up. So it was pretty scary. So I was told by the doctor, said he was, he probably won't live to be 35. I'm pushing 59 now. So I've had a pretty good, uh, pretty good goal. This is probably his hardest battle because he has to rely on somebody else. If they really realized how much life you can give to somebody else and how many, you can't take it with you. We all have to go and we, you know, but if we can give something on our exit, then life keeps carrying on. And right now, all it takes is one person, one match, one angel. Ludzik has stage four liver disease, the final stage, and he needs a transplant to survive. There's 270 people inside this unit right now that are Steve Ludzik's. 
do what you can because you have no idea who you can help. I was gonna say good things happen to great people that, that give and give and give, and that's all Steve's done his whole life. He's given us a hockey player, he's given us a coach, he's given us a father. Shouldn't be doing this because it's all good, right? But somebody uh, somebody will step up and uh, we'll be able to sit back and laugh about this a year from now. If there was a message you wanted to get out to anyone who is watching this right now, what would it be? Be a little kinder to each other. Be a little bit nicer. We're not all here for a long time. Be productive. Help somebody. You get a greater kick out of it than anything else. You love more people. That, that would be easy, easy to say. Give more love out there. Steve Ludzik will be back at hospital again tomorrow to meet with the doctors as he still awaits a donor. As mentioned, one of over 200 people on the waiting list. Toronto General Hospital has performed over 900 living donor transplants to date. You can be that one angel who makes a difference. Life is filled with wonder, with promise. But if you're waiting for a liver transplant, that promise can seem desperately out of reach. There is another option. It's called living liver donation, where part of a liver from a healthy living donor can get you back on life's path. Visit uhntransplant.ca to learn more about the living liver donor program.